Well, hey everybody. Hey, I'm back. Uh, sorry, it's been a while since my last update. Um, it's uh, now January 11th. Uh, correction, now it's the 12th of January. I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, we, we got through the holidays. Uh, got through New Year's. Uh, that that went pretty darn well. Uh, but then um, uh, we're really short-staffed at work, so I had uh, a number of sh open shifts that I had to go and go and fill, just because my position there at the company, had, uh, I was the guy that got stuck in the barrel. So anyway, I got through the shifts. Uh, then um, uh, then we've had a lot of rain down here in Southern California the last uh, last few weeks, and so I haven't gotten an awful lot of done, work done on the boat. Uh, uh, today's Saturday, so uh, uh, weather cleared up on us. Uh, we've got beautiful skies here today. Look at this. I mean, this 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 is Southern California weather here. I mean, I'm, uh, we're 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 liking this, but. Well, I'll tell you, it's uh, it, it's really pretty chilly. I uh, had ice, frost, <clears throat> all over all the vehicles, everything this morning, and it's uh, it's going to be chilly today. It's not going to be warm, uh, but you know, it's, it's certainly workable. So yeah, through the holidays, uh, and uh, uh, as a result of that, uh, you know, we're we're still trying to get Christmas and stuff put away here. You know, I've been kind of slacking on that a little bit. So uh, today's project, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I've got to get my garage cleaned out again here. Uh, I had everything just about organized, just about ready to go, and then you know, Christmas boxes and uh, the clutter that just happened over the holidays. So I'm I'm in the process of uh, uh, rearranging everything in the garage. Uh, you can see it's a wreck right now. So hopefully by uh, uh, by early this afternoon, we'll, we'll have that thing scored away, and we might be able to get get back to work on the boat a little bit. Uh, the plan, uh, if I can get to the boat today, uh, the plan's going to be to uh, get into the engine compartment, uh, get some more uh, reference videos done uh, of the uh, inner transom plates, uh, cabling, uh, wiring, and. Uh, uh, now that I've got better access to that uh, starboard engine, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some more reference videos on that and take some measurements there too. Uh, I noted a couple of things uh, when I was in there just the other day, just kind of looking things around a little bit. Uh, yeah, the, whoever installed these engines, they, they did some, some weird stuff and I, I can't quite figure it out. They, they put these little spacer plates underneath the front engine mount and it's, it's, it's got the, the 470 style engine mount. It's kind of a half moon stanchion uh, for the front engine mount and they had these two look like um, uh, you know, quarter three eighths inch uh, plywood spacers under one side of it I can't figure out what those are for so I'm going to take my electronic level in there and start measuring the actual uh, 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 the engine mount there in the uh, uh, in the engine compartment and compare that against the uh, transom plate mounts the rear mounts and, and try to figure out why they did that uh, there's got to be a better way so yeah, that, that's kind of the plan for this afternoon if I can get to it. Uh, right now I'm just uh, I'm just trying to get up, uh, get the garage back into a, a, a condition where I can I, I can start doing some work. Uh, so okay, well that that's it for right now. Uh, hopefully I'll be back here just a little bit. All right, thanks guys. Well, See hey you. guys, back again. Um, well, yesterday uh, I didn't get as much done as I was hoping to get done. Uh, man, I spent all day in the garage uh, just trying to get things uh, squared away and make a little bit more work of the space for me back there or in there. Uh, the uh, Got the parts washer in place, got the sandblasting cabinet in place. Uh, still got some Christmas boxes that have to get put away, uh, but uh, you know, we're working on that. And uh, you know, just trying to make up some more room. Uh, my daughter's doing this craft thing in the garage here. I've got to figure out how to politely kick her out of there so I can get my space back to be start working so anyway it's uh it's Sunday morning now the 13th um, and uh, super cold this morning uh, I had ice uh, you know on the cars everywhere it was we got down to about uh, about 28 last night is what they said I mean that's frigid for uh, Southern California but that's what it is what it is um, it's uh, uh, probably about uh, 9 30 right now uh, Clear skies, as you can see behind me here, it's uh, it's cleared up, and uh, so I, I got out on the boat this morning, and uh, I wanted to start taking some measurements, uh, just for reference material, uh, so I kind of see what what's uh, uh, what I need to do, um, just make sure so I I can get uh, get everything back in, and uh, I'm sure it'll help me with my alignment stuff uh, when I go to start putting the engines back in uh, after the the the, the, uh, the gimbal ring, the, the transom modifications and such. So anyway, here, here's kind of what I found. Okay, uh, came out. Uh, I have uh, a uh, uh, an electronic uh, or digital uh, uh, level here, 
and uh, I, I like I like this unit because you've got a zero function available there. <coughs> so uh, the, I'm not sure if the boat is is level on my driveway, so I'm just using a reference point on the boat. And uh, just looking at everything here, I, th th this is what I decided to use. Uh, on the stern of the boat, uh, I've got a nice flat spot here, which I'm going to have to assume is probably about, should be my zero reference point. I mean, that's that's what I'm assuming. If somebody thinks otherwise, uh, if there's another leveling point on the boat that I should be referencing, you know, you can please email me. Uh, but I'm just looking at everything. This should be about about level for referencing purposes. Okay, so so here, here here's what I found uh, so far, and I'm I'm still taking measurements, so I'll, I'll document more here in just a little bit. Okay, but first thing, and, and you know, part part of the engine compartment, it's still it's still uh, it's still got a little rainwater in it, and I'm going to get that uh, that kind of you know pumped out or uh, uh, poured out and you know lift the front of the boat later today. So, but I've still got a little bit of water, and it's it's still in need of a lot of work. Okay, so here's here's the uh, Here's the engine mount that uh, that was in the boat, okay. And when I removed the engines, and if you can see on the uh, starboard engine still installed, you can see they've got it looks like about a five sixteenths inch plywood shim under the right side of the mount. Well, I, I found that that was kind of odd. And then I looked at you know on the on the port engine that we took that we took off. Okay, it also had this plywood shim. Uh, it's, uh, it's about 5 sixteenths, maybe a little bit less thick, and it was in between the uh, the front engine mount assembly and the, the, the compartment's engine mount. Okay, and that was that was right here, so I had two Pad, the pad here and then down here, which kind of puts the whole thing at, at a little bit of an angle, so you can see right there. <clears throat> I was trying to figure out what, why they did that. The only thing I can think of is maybe this engine mount here in the engine compartment isn't square. That's a very good possibility. I, I, I put the level on it, and what I what I found with the level, uh, again using that reference point, is that if you look, you know, this is. It's got some high spots in it here, so it's not perfectly level across. But as you can see, it's uh, it's about 1.5 degrees off right now with the port side high. So actually get it to zero out, having to lift the inboard side or the starboard side of that. It's hard to do with, with just one hand. But you can see that's about level right there. And you look at that gap there towards the center. So, but just as it says, it's about a degree and a half off sloping that direction. I'll know more when I pull the other, get the other, uh, when I get the, the starboard engine out, I'll, I'll check it all the way across. I'll check that measurement. But with this shim installed here, if you look at this, I mean, this is just really, really weird. And it doesn't make any sense to me. Because, you know, now we're like 4.7 degrees off. That's, a, that's, a, that's 5 degrees off. And see, that, that to me doesn't make any sense. So I'm, I'm thinking there's, there, there's some work that needs to be done in there. Okay. So, again, using that reference point up there, what I found... Oh, Pardon me, it's hard to walk around here. I gotta get this cleaned out. Okay, if I look at the starboard engine, and I, I checked this against the engine that I've got on the stand, uh, the top of the valve cover should be uh, about a good zero reference point for the engine itself. You can see it's a it's a it's a 1.1 degrees off, and then. Again, just slightest movements there. See, it's kind of hard to do holding a camera and okay, 
so uh, 1.2 degrees there so it looks like the just a little bit but the the way it's setting in the engine in the, setting on the mounts right now the right side or the starboard side is you know is a little low it needs to come up so see, that, that, that just doesn't make any sense all right so the the other reference the other measurement that I took was across the uh, the inner transom plate the engine mounts there and this one again this one came out it's about a degree off uh, and with the starboard side high oh <laughs> just fell down on the engine mount okay so if you, if you look at that it's about a degree off the first measurement I had was about 1.3 if I remember right so coming up bringing up carefully get to zero there's zero and you can see what kind of a gap I've got right there on this engine so that's kind of telling me that this inner transom plate is tilted this way or it's rotated this way you know, I don't know why uh, I'm gonna try to figure it out and you know maybe it's just the aircraft mechanic part of me and, you know the, the precision that I'm expecting you know out of a, out of a helicopter maybe we don't have to maybe we don't need that in the boat I don't know yet but um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna figure it out ideally I'd like to be able to get get everything to bolt in and be lined up level you know with the mounts I, I think that's probably pretty important and um, so we're, we're, we're gonna work towards that goal uh, so yeah that's a uh, uh, that, that's it for right now. Uh, I'm going to take some more measurements. I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you guys know what I find. Uh, you know, a little bit later on here. All right, that's it for now. Hey guys, just one more thing here uh, before I get out of the engine compartment. I did a uh, a reference, uh, a measurement uh, across the, the the inner transom plate mounting points here. I used that as a zero reference to compare that against what the uh, uh, the forward engine mount. Uh, assembly or the engine mount boat engine mount I guess we would call it uh, in the boat looks like and and there, there there's a huge huge angular difference there um, from where the uh, the holes are a lot were set up at you see there's like 3.3 .3 degrees there with the the inboard or the starboard side being low. It's pointing and trying to trying hard to be precise with it. But yeah, it's it's right about there. Look at that gap. Look at the gap there between the um, the port mounting points for the front engine mount and the uh, the starboard mounting points. Man, it's almost like this this whole piece of wood here is just warped and so I'm you know that's that, that's that's gonna need some attention because I like I said the the, air, the aircraft side of me here you know, the aviation side of me just that that's just doesn't seem acceptable we, you know, we got to figure that out so anyway more to follow I'm sure I'm gonna see you guys in a bit